Hey, hey you guys, I wanted to show you this finished sea serpent that I made for Blood Rage and uh, uh, at the same time I thought that I could show you the small long boats uh, markers that are for the game uh, that I made earlier. So let's have a look at the boats first, well, you know that. Uh, so these are for the four original clans or so. Uh, I didn't do much with the uh, sails because yeah I just thought because they have these clip-ons to the bases that you can clip on that have their colors so I didn't want to do much with that maybe I'll do something in the future I don't know something more with it but yeah standard wooden color and they have their own colors on the shields um, that yeah their own colors that are from their own clans and they have these small details on the uh, uh, drag for the dragon heads or so for a different different clans. So this have a, this is the raven clan, and they have pretty much a raven on the uh, raven head on the longboat, blue shields. And the water, as you can see, is a bit greenish yellow. I wanted to make it quite realistic, uh, so. As in the Baltic Sea, pretty much the color of the water is more green, I think, than blue, really. So, and you can see this like that they want brighter spots on the waves, and so you can see that they are like almost a bit yellow green that I worked into the dark green, and so on. Um, yeah, really small, nice markers here. For the boats, the wolf clan, and uh, of course the sea serpent. I made the water pretty much in the same kind of way, and uh, yeah, all of him is glossed as you can see coming out of the water. The color of him is a bit of a greenish, uh, yellowish color. I use different mixes to get up to the green color and dry brush and uh, covered it in some blue wash. I should have had a green wash but I don't own one so I did what I I used what I had. Um, and uh, when I washed it I dry brushed it up with the same green color and uh, I kept and I dry brushed again with uh, a yellow color all over him and uh, then uh, finally I dry brushed him a bit with a white color and you can see around his eyes so on it is a little bit bluish uh, purple that I used with a blue wash and a purple wash oh yeah and a uh, you can see it on the tentacles on his head too that it is fading out to a purplish color so I used a purple wash and a red wash to work that out out up so it looks like it is like a bit uh, uh, more of a uh, fade to it and uh, yeah his uh, gum or what you say is uh, or gums is uh, a bit purplish red and yeah teeth bone color a little bit brownish with some brown and seraphim sepia yeah, um, and a bit of a red around like the mouth wash. I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Uh, so, uh, he's a little bit greener than on the artwork, but yeah, I, I don't really mind his... He, he turned out fine, I think, so I, I like the result. Uh, so, that is what I wanted to show you guys this time um, so for the next video you will probably see the finished fire giant and what I am going to do after that so yeah thank you guys for watching and have a good one